for the time. Thank you. Um, uh, we learned that you are the head of Select Committee on Environment. Uh, the chairperson of Select Committee on Environment mm. uh, at the National Assembly of the Gambia. Um, uh, we've seen what have unfolded in Faraba, and we learned that you committee paid a visit prior to the incident uh, on a fact-finding mission. And later on, you ordered for the temporal uh, closure of the site till negotiations are done. Can you brief us uh, through what efforts your committee have been doing prior to this uh, heartbreaking uh, news that unfolded yesterday? Uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kande. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kande, for granting this interview. Uh, just to take you back to the genesis of the matter, uh, it may interest you to know uh, what obtains in Faraba vis-à-vis -vis the happenings that we are having now as a nation. Uh, in fulfillment of Section 109 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, committees of the National Assembly are entitled to embark on what we call oversight functions to various institutions, departments, or places under their purview and Sanyang, sorry, Farba uh, uh, Bantang mining site is not an exception. It falls under the purview of the Environment Committee. So as a result, we had unpleasant news about Farba Bantang that there is a certain contractor who has been issued license and is about to embark on mining at the site. And as a result of the mining that is purportedly about to take place, is going to impinge on people's livelihood. People's livelihood. So as a result of the news that we received, the committee deemed it necessary you know, to galvanize into actions so as to satisfy section 109 of the constitution by performing our oversight functions. So that's why I went to Falaba to see things for ourselves, to obtain what I will call first-hand information. Because just as the saying goes, seeing is believing. Yeah. What we have visualized at the level of the committee, then we can speak on that. That will not be a speculation. Because as a committee, we should not base our facts on allegations or hearsay. Mm -hmm. The National Assembly Select Committee is a powerful committee. So that's why we thought it you know, necessary to go to Fadaba to establish the facts. Thank you. Um, when you establish the fact, we learned that you've made recommendation for the temporal closure of the site uh, for Julake to stop mining till negotiations are done. Can you confirm that your committee have uh, taken that step? Uh, yes, you know, as part of our function also, we make recommendations, and those recommendations are, you know, promulgated in the policies, and the policies are what affects development. Because whatever policy you make, for it to be a viable policy, it must affect development. So as a result, we have to be very, very careful in terms of making you know, recommendations. Mm -hmm. We can only make recommendations as and when we pay a visit you know, to the affected site or area. Mm -hmm. So based on that, we can admonish the party or parties concerned as we way forward. So uh, 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 we say this place is a disputed area. Mm -hmm. So now, what is important here is to advise you know, all parties to desist from conducting any activity as far as the site is concerned. So we admonish as a committee that Dulake, the contractor, should hold operations until investigations are thoroughly accomplished. Because we want to get to the bottom of the matter. And in doing that, we need all stakeholders under one roof 
so as to be on the same page. So we first had an interface with the community of Faraba, the BDC. After our encounter with them, we invited another stakeholder, that is Gulaba. We had an interface with Gulaba also in the National Assembly here. After our interface, we went further, you know, by inviting uh, 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 geology officials mm. so as to get a balanced story. So after our, our consultation with geology, on the 14th of this month again, we also invited PS, Minister of Petrology and Energy, together with Mr. Cham and Mr. Jao, those are geology officials, in order to brainstorm more so as to acquaint ourselves with what obtains at Farawa, Bandang, before any decision is made. But we are yet to see National Environment Agency, that's the NEA. Mm -hmm. That's why we told them to wait until we finish our investigation, because NEA is a major stakeholder. We could not make decisions without exhausting all our stakeholders. So what, in the interim, uh, 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 due to certain reasons or the other, Julake decided to you know continue mining the place, and on Monday we had this unfortunate news, which resulted to fatalities, which the committee deeply regrets. Um, uh, in communication with Julake on this issue, was it uh, verbally uh, being communicated to him, or there were? Uh, communication in terms of written communication sent to Gulake from your committee uh, and as well copied to other respective uh, stakeholders in this matter. Did you, did, did you do anything of such? Because we learned that your, your recommendation went further by saying that for security personnel to withdraw from the site in which uh, villagers have said that uh, security personnel were never withdrawn from the site. Okay, as a committee, we embark on two approaches. One, uh, the Honorable Vice Chairperson of the committee in the final Honorable Demba Shaw personally called uh, Mr. Mariana Julake on telephone to ask him to hold operations pending the completion of investigations. I also took turn by calling uh, the contractor Julake to hold operations until investigations are accomplished. Because we thought it wise, based on the urgency of the situation at the time. But Julake never, you know, uh, paid attention to what we advised him to do. You see. So after we came to the National Assembly, after completing, you know, a day's work, we sat with the PS Energy and other geology officials. We still impressed upon them to maintain peace and order. We told them that we are going to write to the land ministry, that is energy, for onward delivery to Julake so as to hold operations until we are done with our investigation. Was that done? Yes, we met on Thursday on the 14th. You know, the feast was approaching on the 14th. Uh, I think we finished meeting around 3.30. It was approaching closing time, official closing time. So the letter was drafted. So Friday was the feast, isn't it? Mm. Friday was the feast. Nothing could be done on Friday. The weekend came. So it was the letter was you know, overtaken by events. Um, do you feel disappointed, um, mm. uh, Julake, not honoring your verbal communication with, with, with him to temporarily stop mining from the side? Do you feel disappointed mm. as yes, an say, oversight institution? Yes, we are, we are not happy because... Uh, uh, as a committee of the National Assembly, uh, we are a powerful committee, and the committees of the Assembly are vested with powers of a high court. Mm -hmm. The same powers that the high court enjoys, the same powers the committee enjoys. So when we ask him to stop you know, operations, he should have you know, respected. He should have respected. But due to circumstances, you know, best known to him, you know, he flouted our, our, our instruction, which in itself is a contempt. Because some um, uh, uh, villagers said, assembly. yeah, villagers said, um, in as much as um, uh, National Assembly have recommended 
avoid the temporal uh, seizure of uh, mining from the site. <coughs> That's what led them for them to go to the to the mining site and uh, put a force for Julake to stop. That led to this. No, as a committee, we just advised Julake to hold operations verbally. When we came here, we drafted letters. What for? Ministry of Energy to receive those letters. You know, it was overtaken by even, like I told you, the quality, the feast. You see? Imagine Thursday we met, Friday was quality. You know, we can't do anything. Uh, Saturday was weekend, Sunday was weekend. You see? So Monday, the letters were dispatched to various uh, these things, agencies. Yesterday you visited uh, the site. Uh, it led for, uh, for you, the lawmakers to suspend your yesterday sitting to, by visiting the casualties and the, uh, uh, at the RVTH and let us proceed to uh, to Faraba. What you've seen in uh, Faraba? Can you take us through? Yes, you know, um, for the simple reason that we suspended uh, or adjourned the sittings, that goes to say that uh, we have the interest of the masses at heart. And in view of the you know, current happenings, so what you could have done is just to show solidarity to the affected community. Because we are the mouthpieces of the people. We are here to serve them. You see? So whatever happens to them affects us, either directly or indirectly. So for the fact that we are here working on behalf of the masses, so when they have a problem, <laughs> it means it's our problem. So we must take it upon ourselves you know, to see that that problem is redressed once and for all. That's why we deem it fit, you know, to adjourn, only to go to Faraba to see things for ourselves. Because we don't want to speculate. We are a committee. The lot is on.